Mr. DeSimone, Thomas DeSimone. Yes, sir. Good morning, Your Honor. It's a pleasure to be before you. Good morning, sir. I know you're not accustomed to being in the courtroom, Mr. DeSimone. No, I usually don't have to come to court. But... I understand. Now, Inspector Quinn is your counterpart in uh, this court. I mean, Mr. DeSimone is a prosecuting attorney, uh, Inspector Quinn. For the fine city of Woonsocket. Right, he's the prosecuting attorney in the fine city of Woonsocket. Right. Inspector Carrigan is also your counterpart here in, uh, in Providence. So if you think you're going to fight these two guys and win, you're wrong, right? I don't like to fight, Your Honor. You may get past Inspector Quinn, maybe. <laughs> I like to argue, but not fight. <laughs> but I am going to make an observation, Inspector Quinn. As you know, and as Inspector Carrigan knows, there are people who come to court who go to extraordinary means to try to influence me, right. right? They'll either come in and talk well about one of my family members, or they'll do something, you know, to make me, to ingratiate themselves yeah. with me. I, my son David is there. You know that's true, right, David? <laughs> but but you have topped everybody. Why? Well, what did I do, Your Honor? I would never Quinn. compliment David. Never. I know. <laughs> never. I know that you called up David this morning. I think I don't know. I think he called up David this morning. This is the worst one yet. He called up David this morning to find out what I was wearing. Now, you see his tie? So he wanted to match my socks. <laughs> I mean, I'm he in good company. My socks. <laughs> anyway, Inspector, so we give him the award, okay, for being the most, sh the most shameful. <laughs> the most shameful excuse. All right, Mr. De Simone. Uh, yes, Your Honor. First of all, we have a matter that goes back ten years ago. Ten years. Now, is, do you drive this vehicle, or someone else in the family? No, that's drive my the daughter's that I pay for the car. I, I pay for those cars. Shameful, shameful again. The first thing he did was throw his daughter under the bus. No, I'm just uh, you know, making. I'm always telling the truth, Your Honor. Inspector Quinn is not unfamiliar with paying for daughters. He, under sure. he understands this, right, oh, Inspector Quinn? I do. I'm sure. I was, I was blessed enough to have three of them. So a wife and three daughters. I'm sure anyone can feel my pain who's, who's ever had a lip through that. But no, it was, it's, it's enjoyable. Inspector Quinn, how do you feel about a, uh, a violation that's 10 years old? About Your Honor, I believe the system has already switched over. I don't believe that's in the system anymore. All right. So you moved to dismiss I the case? I moved to dismiss, Judge. Yes. All right. How uh, kind. Thank you. Now, the second, the second violation is a little more complicated, Inspector Quinn. Inspector, the second violation was on May 14th, 2021. So there were two issues here. Number one is when the school was in session, it's a school zone violation. It was a couple of miles over the limit. But that's not the issue. The issue is that the cameras are in operation until 6 p.m. Well, there are a couple of issues there. Number one, whether schools are open until 6 p.m. Do you want to be heard on that, uh, I will, Your Honor. Council? First, I'd like to say one thing. That's where Isaac Hopkins is. I am a graduate of Isaac Hopkins and the public school system in Providence. Again, again, Inspector, he knows, he knows that my wife graduated from Isaac Hopkins as well. So, I, he's I gonna, to school, Judge, he's going to run out of uh, lipstick very soon. <laughs> when, I went, I, when I went to school, we used to walk there. There was no busing. Uphill both ways, barefoot. And um, we get out at 2.30. Now, I still think they get out at quarter three because my two sisters uh, were teachers there. Mm -hmm. so, but I don't think that machine uses Rolex time because there's got to be a mistake in the time. The speeding charge is at uh, 5.58 p.m., and that's because of after-school activities. That's why they extended it oh, to I 6. See. My personal view is that it's a little unreasonable to go to 6 o'clock. You know, so I've been very lenient in those matters. So, Inspector Quinn, do you have any objection to the matter being dismissed? I agree with you. At 5.58, I don't believe any students would be around the school at that time. I think justice would be served if we dismissed the case. Right. It was two minutes before school closed at 6 o'clock. School gets out three hours before then. And thank you, Your Honor. Accordingly, the matter is dismissed. Good luck. Pleasure to be before you. Good luck, All sir. All set. Thank you. <laughs>